Hello, scumbags. Who is Supreme Leader Snoke? In this video, I will go over a couple of possibilities as to who Snoke may be with evidence based on earlier speculation, then discuss who I think he may actually be. First off, Darth Plagueis. The most logical of all the theories in my opinion, Plagueis had the power to create life according to Palpatine, which is interesting. Palpatine claims that Plagueis was killed by his apprentice. What if Plagueis was not killed by Sheev? What if he somehow survived and lived on in the shadows until he regained his strength and found a new apprentice, someone more vulnerable than Palpatine, and possibly more powerful? We know Snoke chose Ben Solo as his apprentice because of how in tune he was with both the light side and the dark side of the Force. This is something Snoke, aka Plagueis, could have seen as an advantage. Next up, Gallius Rax. The next plausible possibility, I'd say. Gallius Rax was found by the Emperor on Jakku. The Emperor had something evil going on down there and needed it to be protected. He entrusted his protection to droids, not humans, until he met a boy named Galli. The Emperor later removed Galli from his post, who is now known as Gallius Rax, and made him an officer. We're learning all of this from the Aftermath novels, the last of which will hit shelves in 2017. We know Rax is smart, we know he was close with the Emperor, and from Bloodline we know that there were traitors in the New Republic. I'm going to be honest, I am not convinced Gallius Rax is Snoke. If I were to bet, I'd say Gallius Rax will be played by Benicio Del Toro in Episode 8, and he will not be known as Gallius Rax. He will be working alongside Leia with the New Republic and the Resistance. Until the twist when it is revealed he is actually a villain. That's a theory, not a spoiler. It could be way off, but I love Star Wars and this is partially what makes it so much fun. Oh, and Fatty Fan Theories thinks uh, that Snoke is Masconata. Moving on. There is a quote from Snoke saying, It is where you are from, what you are made of, the dark side, and the light. The finest sculptor not fashion a masterpiece from poor materials. He must have something pure, something strong, something unbreakable with which to work. This is an interesting quote. It appears as though Snoke is referring to himself as a sculptor. Snoke has had at least one other apprentice besides Ben Solo. Wikipedia says he had several apprentices before zeroing in on the Skywalker bloodline. We know Snoke is old, and he has seen the rise and fall of the Empire. If he saw that, he would have seen Luke, or at least known of Luke and his Jedi abilities. So why would he wait so long for Ben Solo to arrive? Why not go after Luke? Perhaps Luke was just too powerful for him. Snoke was somebody trusted, at least by Han. Leia had her doubts about him and could sense the darkness, but still allowed her son Ben to be introduced to the man. Now, we know absolutely nothing about Ben's training at this point. We read some of it in Bloodlines, but that's it. The book never goes into detail, we just hear how Leia misses her son and wishes she could contact him and Luke. So, how did Snoke get his hands on Ben without Luke stepping in? Luke was not aware of Snoke. His mind was clouded the same way his father's was before him, by love. Maybe because Luke was in love with one of Snoke's apprentices, or someone close to Snoke, but we'll go with apprentices for this. Maybe in the new canon, Snoke takes the seat of the Emperor, and Luke's new wife is Mary Jade, or a Mary Jade type. Snoke convinces his female apprentice to befriend Luke, to make the Jedi fall in love with him. This is when she would strike him down, or so be Snoke's plan. A plan that perhaps fails, because his apprentice develops genuine feelings for Luke. Furious, Snoke strikes his apprentice down, leaving her for dead. At this point, Luke cannot finish Ben's training. Snoke would have known this because of the weakness inside of Luke, his compassion for others. So Luke sends Ben home to his parents while he mourns until he is ready to resume the training. This is when Snoke steps in 
and seduces Ben. Snoke was a military man, watching Ben from afar, working with Leia, who she did not trust. Han, being a scoundrel, never saw the darkness in Snoke, and so allowed Ben to speak with the old man from time to time, never being the wiser. This theory would leave Snoke to be Snoke, a wise, cunning old man, very manipulative, who takes advantage of the weak. This is just an idea. I'm just spitballing here. What do you think? Who is Snoke? Is he just Snoke? Comment below and thanks for watching. Hey scumbags, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.